Let me tell you why. When the step God in me. God? What you talking about? When the step God in me. You said God? What? When the step God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. When the step God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold God, hold the strong, the good, 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 the Happy, 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 happy new year. Twenty twenty four is the year of the more, no more insecure. Secure. Oh, oh, oh. Be sure. Happy, happy new year. <laughs> we just made that up, y'all. Amen, amen. Don't y'all go downloading that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. And I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. And we are the Love we Chapters. And we are, we we are, are, are on Positive Power 21 Radio Network. Jerry Royce, Shout what's up, my guy? My producer, Jerry yes, Royce. Yes, yes, yes. And the one, wonderful um, family and Positive Power, uh, positive 21, power family. 21 Family. 21 Family Network. Shout out to our fans and our followers. Um, and the people who loved Jesus, All right? All 150 countries as yes, well. Yes, yes. So, stream. Yes, yeah, yes. In. Yes, yes, yes. And um, welcome, welcome. Buenos it's dias. a new year. It was great to Buenos hear tardes. from you guys. Buenas noches. Yes, we are so happy and glad to be back. Yeah, we are, y'all. Um, wow. We had a two-week break. And yeah. It was well needed, I will say. Definitely. I tried my best not to think about much, <laughs> but you know how that goes. Yeah, we were praying for y'all though. That's for sure. Amen. 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 That's for cheesy. Yeah. So, twenty twenty four. Yeah. Well, let's pray in first. But pray in. Twenty twenty four. We just thank God. We're gonna start with a prayer as we yeah. always do. We're gonna pray in and just lift up a praise and prayer. To the Most High, Amen. Yeah. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just come before you as boldly um, as we know how to come to you, Father, because we can. Yes, <laughs> Lord. We're just thanking you, Father, for this new year, Lord. Um, it's a new year, and we know that this year is going to be a year like never before. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thanking you, Father, that. This will be a year of more, more what? More fruit, Mm. more love, more patience, more grace, Lord, more opportunities, more open doors, Father. We're just giving you thanks. I'm giving you thanks right now just for the prophecy that's already been going forth, the prophetic word that my husband gave, Father, that this is the year that we will no longer be insecure. Insecure in what? Insecure in... Who we thought we wanted to be, insecure in what we thought we couldn't be, insecure in shrinking and shirking back, um, just rising above all the obstacles in our inner self, our inner selves, and uh, standing upon the word, standing upon uh, what you have said about us and not what others have said about us, Father, and we thank you for going forth this year and, and boldness, Lord. And um, we just give you thanks for it, Lord. And I'm thanking you for uh, just this another opportunity, Lord, just to be used, for the both of us to be used, Lord. And we just ask that you have your way. Um, we thank you for the hearts that are prepared to receive whatever it is that you would want them, want your people, Father, to um to know, Lord, we just give you all the praise, honor, and glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you for your majesty, Hallelujah. Father. Thank you for your majesty. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So, we have been talking about the goodness of God. We've yeah. been coming from Psalms since last year, mm-hmm. and it's carrying over until this year. We were talking about the 
the mightiness of God. We had Pastor Siobhan Hall. Mm-hmm. She gave an awesome testimony. Yeah, she sure did. Please go Shouts back out to her. and check that out. Yeah. Now we are talking about the majesty of God. Mm-hmm. Do y'all know that Jesus, well, Jesus is our big bro, but talking about God the Father, his mm-hmm. daddy, who is our daddy, the all consuming the all powerful he's also a majestic god mm. did you all know that mm. psalms 145 it says i will meditate on the glorious majesty of your honor on your wondrous works you know that everything that he has created he has decreed and declared good mm. since the foundations of the world in Genesis so you don't need to go look at your food and be like should I eat this he's mm. already cooked. <laughs> mm. now you know you have your own health convictions but mm. he's already decreed and declared that it is good right amen look at mm. your spouse look at your neighbor and said he's decreed you good you he's good decreed you good yeah <laughs> amen. amen you're a gift we're a gift mm. Mm. man and woman he mm. blessed us mm. and said you are good. Amen. Mm. And it was his majesty that did it. Yes, it was his majesty. If mm. you look at the creations mm-hmm. and the birds and just everything that we witness. Mm-hmm. I mean, the beauty. Just looking outside the sun. Mm-hmm. Those are his works. The mountains. I mean, think about when you travel. You just view the beauty of the earth. That's his wondrous yeah. works. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's so God is so amazing because I was um I knew we were gonna do this show. God always gives me um his own definitions of um whenever whenever we talk about it, like if we talk about the greatness of God, the goodness of God and so forth and so on. We go on to the majesticness of God and I you know, I asked him, Well what what is what is majestic to you? You know, we say he said royalty. Yeah. He said royalty. And he gave me that word, and then I went and looked it up, and um, it, it, it says royal power. That's what it says in the word. Royal power. And um, it's like what you was talking about, the majesty of, of, of the royal household, mm-hmm. you know? And he... He, you know, when you look at the trees, the, when you look at the mountains, when you look at the beach and the vastness of the water, the sand and mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm. the sky and how everything comes together, that's his majesty. Mm-hmm. That's his majesty. So I looked up some definitions of it and it's it's amazing, the definitions. It, uh, it means impressive. It means dignity or beauty. Mm-hmm. Okay. It also is synonymous with the word dignity, uh, with the word magnificence, with the word um, grandeur. Mm -hmm. And it also was synonymous with it is uh, splendor, resplicence, glory, impressiveness. Uh, superbness. He is superb. Mm -hmm. Awesomeness. Awe. To be in awe. Loftiness. Sublimity. Regalness. Regal. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is all of what God, this is all of his characters. Royalty. Because that's what he gave. He told me that's the definition he gave me. Royalness. Kingliness. Okay, nobility. Nobleness, that's God, hallelujah, exaltation, all right? That's all God. Mm. Amen. Sovereignty, authority, power, dominion, supremacy, that's who God is. That's what God is, amen? Amen, and if I may add, Mm -hmm. it says also that the word majestic Mm-hmm. The word translated majestic mm-hmm. is a superlative, meaning mightier than everything else. Mm. Amen. Amen. God over everything. The supreme power of God over everything. Mm. Right? God has no rival. He isn't subject to any other power. Like you said, he reigns supreme. Mm-hmm. 
his majesty, what's majestic about him is that mm-hmm. he's mightier than everything else. And we talked about the might of God, which is the physical force of God. Mm. He's mightier than mm-hmm. everything else, meaning he's stronger. He's stronger mm. than your your situation. He's stronger than any demonic force that may come up against you, any demonic powers. He's given us authority, right? So his mm-hmm. power that is in us, I'm thinking of the scripture, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Mm. So any type of demonic force, even somebody that may deem themselves a witch or a warlock, he's mightier. That power is, lives, that same power that he possesses is in us. Mm. Is power and more powerful and mightier and more majestic than the soothsayer, mm. than the wizard. I mean, uh, another definition she's giving me is um, supreme greatness commanding authority. Mm. That's God. Mm. Wow. Jesus. And, and when you think about that, you have no other, I, I, I want to say choice, but no other option but to just bow down and worship his majesty yeah. you're worshiping his majesty because he's all powerful there's a song called majesty majesty mm. worship your majesty mm. king of all kings mm. Amen, because he's the king of all kings. There's no Mm. other power that is greater, beloved, my Mm. brother and sister, that you can even think of. So even when the enemy tries to make you think that that his power is greater, which he has power, but Mm -hmm. his power is not majestic. It's not Mm. mightier. Mm. It's not mighty like God's power, who is the all majestic one, the supreme one, the one who reigns supreme. Mm -hmm. Amen. First Chronicles 29, 11 says... Yours, the Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the what? And the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, the Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Amen. That's God. Amen. Um, Mm. I wanted to give another example. Amen. That is God. I Mm -hmm. wanted to give an an example. Um, I'm looking at a dictionary definition Mm -hmm. of majesty. Impressive Mm -hmm. stateliness. Mm -hmm. Dignity Mm -hmm. or beauty. We talked about that. The beauty of maybe Mm -hmm. the earth or the beauty of even us as creation. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, the way that we're put together. Fearfully and beautifully made you reflect the majesty Mm -hmm. of God, right? The royalness. Mm. Um. But I was thinking of this just flash before my eyes, you know, when Moses, um, excuse me, when um, the, the sea was split mm-hmm. and you, you remember when the miracle of the Red Sea, when it parted, mm-hmm. that was impressive. That, oh, that yeah. was an example of that the majesty. Was that, was, that was grandiose. Par- yeah. Right? Grandioso. And hmm. that was that right there to me. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I, I mean, wow. What matter of God is this? Yeah. <laughs> That can do and that's that, just you one, know? you know, that's just one example. There's so many um, mm-hmm. examples of his majesty, the yeah. majesty of God, him yeah. being majestic. Mm-hmm. Um, whew. And you just, you know, like the song says, his wondrous works, mm-hmm. worshiping, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. worship his wondrous works. So... Mm. I challenge you when you wake up and just open up your eyes and you look over to your spouse, married folk, praise him for your spouse. Thank you for who my, my, my beautiful and majestic wife and husband, <laughs> the majesty that, spouse, possess, yeah. that they possess, Lord. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. The beauty, the impressiveness, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, you know, God did that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, you know, I, I, you, unbeknownst to you, low key, I stare at you every day. <laughs> oh my you don't even know it and I'm like wow I'm like she really is beautiful oh. I was like look at what God how God made you wow. you know what I mean glory to yeah. God glory amen <laughs> give me all give me all off balance here mm-hmm. but, oh. but yes husbands are why we are the love chapter so you know we're amen. throwing a little 
you know, mm-hmm. Eros love there for the married folk, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Start your new year off. Give, mm-hmm. give, give affirmation. Wake yes. up. Give affirmation to your your spouse, your mm-hmm. wife. You know, tell them what they, what you like about what's impressive to you yes. about how God created them. Their yeah. eyes. What is it about them? Their <laughs> smile. What is it? You know, I'm glad that you that said maybe that. maybe represents royalty to you, to them. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really glad that you said that because when I mean, you go to First Chronicles 29, 25, it's the Lord. You know, when you got the Lord in your life, he puts a glow on your face. Mm-hmm. You know, he puts a he puts yeah. a pep in your step. You know, he gives you the unction, the function, you know. And it says here in First Chronicles 29, 25, it says, the Lord magnified Solomon because he he loved Solomon. Solomon was David's um son, mm. so he had a spe- he had a special favor for Solomon. And it says here, the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all of Israel, mm-hmm. and bestowed on him. Look what it says: such royal majesty mm. as had not been on any king before him. In all of Israel. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it was God who bestowed upon Solomon with royal majesty. And Solomon was, he he, he just had an air about him. Mm -hmm. Solomon was the wisest king that ever was besides Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, Solomon uh, uh, single-handedly, if you read Proverbs, he single-handedly wrote Proverbs. Okay. And the Song of Solomon, was the Song of Solomon's? Uh, the, the, the 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 scripture the uh, the Song of Solomon's, it was it was Solomon that wrote that Song of Songs, Song of Songs, uh, and uh, it's because Solomon went to God specifically and he didn't ask him for nothing except uh, knowledge and wisdom and revelation, Amen. and so he, do you know more? He multiplied. He, what he, he had see, gave him what he didn't his ask knowledge. for, exactly. riches, all of that. Yup, and 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 to top it off, um, you have um, be- believers and even some non-believers that go to Proverbs, um, who go That's to Proverbs true. to get uh, business information. Yeah. It is to true. use it to Listen, help the them word with works their when you work it, saved or unsaved, because it's a spiritual law that, um, it's it's a spiritual law. A lot of uh, <laughs> biblical principles are are laws, and you can activate it, saved or unsaved. Literally, literally, and but but it was the simple fact that it was God that gave him. Yeah. All of his, he was the richest king as well. Yeah. He was the richest king as well. Mm-hmm. And he didn't even ask for riches. All he asked for was for knowledge and revelation. Well, he can discern the hearts of the people. Yes, but it was God's majesty that did it. That's my point. Mm-hmm. How more did he do for Solomon than, than, than he will do for us? Right. I think that that's a good point because a lot of times we are seeking the power and the wealth and we're seeking it from the world's way of doing things and we don't realize that we serve a majestic God who can bestow upon us mm-hmm. everything that we might desire but yes. there's a biblical order and there's a biblical way mm-hmm. um, that God is telling us to go about those things seeking first the kingdom and yeah. all these things shall be added those things that are majestic or beauty beautiful or royal or like the shiny things in life Noble. and the, and the, and the um, tangible things in life, you know, yes, um, yes, that yes. he's more powerful than um, us trying to get things on our own. Mm-hmm. He can, he can take the work out of us trying to toil into getting those things because With, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he's got all the riches. Yep. He's, he has everything. I mean, <laughs> wow. It's a, it's amazing. It's an endless well of riches, and it doesn't always have to be money. Yeah, you know, like I said, clothes you know, he just and makes all sure, those yeah, luxuries. it doesn't have to be material. You know, it could, it could be actually helping somebody else. For Second uh, Peter one verse sixteen says, "For we did not follow cunningly devised fables." Okay, you know, when you follow the ways of the world or whatever the case, you could get caught up in some things. And you wind up being about the bad. You wind up being about the mammon. You wind up being about mammon. You wind up being about fame. You wind up being about um, status, right? You wind up being being greedy for power, mm-hmm. you know. But the word is saying, 
of Second Peter one sixteen says, "For we did not follow cunningly devised fables." How many people run into uh, what do you call those pyramid schemes and mm -hmm. so forth and so on and businesses that are going nowhere, you know, because they get caught up in devised plans. Other people have to make them rich, but it's not making the people that join it rich. Mm. Okay, it says here, when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Mm. See, because when we, I think we was talking about that today, about uh, opening up businesses uh, and... Um, and knowing whether it was God or not, because we'll see by the fruit, we can be we can be very sure that uh, when we follow God, we're going to be witnesses to the majesty of what He's done. You know, um, I'm not good at taking tests. Oh, I thought I wasn't, but I am good at taking tests. And guess what? On my own, when I'm looking to the devices of other men, I can't pass. I can't mm. pass those tests. But I put all my trust and hope in the Lord and I took two separate tests in the last two weeks and I got two separate one hundreds. That's the majesty of God. Amen. I'm turning <laughs> over to him and he's making it happen and you're eyewitness to it. Yeah. It's his majesty. Amen. Amen. Mm hmm. Amen. Mm hmm. Amen. And there's so much to discuss about his majesty. Um, if you go to Daniel 4, verse 30, mm -hmm. it says here, The king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built for the royal dwelling place, by the might of my power and for the glory of my majesty? Okay. Um, uh, uh, I... Um, I don't think that was a good scripture. I think we could better go to another one because I think there's more to that. Yeah, well, okay, it says, he, is on. this not the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence by right. my mighty power right. for the glory of my majesty? What's wrong with that? Oh, I, 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 that's right, because I'm um, I gonna need to go further into that scripture because he said the king spoke and said, was it the king, was he talking about who? what, what king was that that was speaking at that time? That's what I'm saying. I not too sure about that scripture. I gotta look that up a little more. And look so you want to use that was King, um, I believe it was King Neb Nebuchadnezzar. If I'm not mistaken. So anyway, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We'll go back and yeah, there, there was Nebuchadnezzar. Yep, 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 yep. What what happened? Because uh, uh, Daniel five eighteen says, "You King, the Most High God, gave Nebuchadnezzar your father the kingdom and greatness and glory." And majesty, right? Because Nebuchadnezzar first did uh, uh, listen to God, and it was God that gave him that kingdom. Okay, it was God's majesty that gave him that kingdom. If we, if we, if we, as individuals, listen, to, go to God, and then listen to God, that kingdom can manifest right here on earth in the flesh for all to see. Hmm. And we have to remember that it was God's grace and glory and majesty that got it for us. The thing that happened with Nebuchadnezzar was is that he forgot. I mean, he got caught up and thought it was all about him. Hmm. You know, and he 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 met he uh, he met a lot of uh, adversity from God because he decided not to give it up to God. Good thing about it is that it's not God that will take it away from you. And at the same time, you wind up taking it away from yourself. So you better follow God's Majesty. You better give Him all the praise and the honor. Amen. You better because He's the one that gave it to you. That 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 let's for twenty twenty four. I am sure that all of you in every country, in 150 countries that are listening to this radio show, God is about to show out in your life. You are about to score for sure in 2024. But I'm letting you know right now, remember 
to give the glory to God. Remember his majesty. Remember who gave it to you. We cannot get cocky. That's what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar. He got yep. cocky. He got proud. And brought, God brought him low. Mm -hmm. He's just checking him right now. He says, this is not the great Babylon I've built as the royal residence by my... Mm -hmm. He's like, don't forget my, my mighty power. And for the... I'm trans, trans, uh, <laughs> paraphrasing power, translating. For the glory of my majesty. Even mm -hmm. as the words were on his lips, a voice came from heaven. This is what is decreed for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken from you. The royal mm -hmm. authority was taken from him. He was driven away from people and, and he was made to live with the wild animals. It says you will eat grass like the ox. Seven times will pass by for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes. So this mm. displays God's sovereignty, his power. In the earth. Mm -hmm. He has mm -hmm. the power to exalt, demote. All power belongs to him. Mm. He's mighty over everything. That's the majesticness of majestic mm. Mm. Uh, characteristic mm. of our Heavenly Father. A great mm. king like Nebuchadnezzar brought low mm. 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 because of his pride, one. Right. And mm -hmm. the Lord mm -hmm. made sure to check him. Yeah. That's one thing. The Lord really knows how to deal with leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we just continue to pray, mm -hmm. he knows how to deal with leadership. We don't need to feel like we got to go. I always thought that I had to intervene when I always thought things were not right in different organizations. And God was like, and even through you, you know, there was mm -hmm. always a better way that you used to tell me. <laughs> I always felt like I had to confront. But yeah, we just need to take, we need to know that... Um, Positions of authority were given, and God knows how to shift, remove, yes. demote. He knows how to do it all, and we need to just be more prayerful as believers yes. and allow him him to intervene. Yeah, allow yeah. give him access to intervene into situations. Amen. Yeah. See, because what happens is, is that right? Mm -hmm. God got to get the glory. Right. You see, when you put yourself first and in the mix, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to do things the way that you want to, want to do them. And what's going to happen is that you're going to wind up getting the glory. Mm -hmm. Okay? Instead of God getting the glory. Mm -hmm. You see, that's as in Ezekiel 60, 14, it says, Your renown went forth among the nations for your beauty, for it was perfect through my majesty, which I have put on you, says the Lord, the Lord, says the Lord, the Lord. Okay, so God wants to get, God wants to get the glory. God wants to get the, 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 uh, he wants, he, he wants you to co-sign him. <laughs> you know, like, like he wants you to speak up and say it was him. Like when I got the hundred on the test, right? Mm -hmm. Before I took the test. And people ask me, you, what, 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 you think you, what type of score you're going to get? I said, I'm going to get 100. I said, you're going to get 100? I, I, they said, why? I said, how do you know? I said, God told me. They said, God told you? I said, yeah, I'm going to get 100. I told them this on purpose beforehand. <laughs> because it was God that told me I was going to get 100. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So after we took the test, and they said, so what do you think you got? I said, I told you, I got a hundred. You sure you got a hundred? Listen, I don't get no glory out of this. It's God. God said, I'm going to get a hundred. I'm going to get a hundred. So, when they read out the people that got a hundred, I was one of them. And when I when they called my name, everybody was like, just silent. They was like, Dwayne got a hundred? Because if you remember, I said that I got a hundred, that I was going to get a hundred. <laughs> so when they, yep. So, <coughs> excuse me. So when they came up, <coughs> sorry. So when they came up to me, they was like, Dwayne, you got a hundred. I said, why are you acting surprised? I told you I was going to get it. God told me. I give all the glory to God. He deserves it. God is radiance. 
He's the radiance in our life. That he wants to put us on display as long as we're putting him on display. Amen. 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 I want to um, go back to this story in Daniel that you referenced with King Nebuchadnezzar because I wanted to give the end of the story, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. King Nebuchadnezzar, he he got everything restored back to him, but he had to go through what he had to go through. Yeah. Um, he was meant to grovel. Yeah. <laughs> he had to grovel, so, man. There's still um, they hope. They said he was almost bestial. <laughs> there's still hope. He was like a beast out in, the, out in the field because of what he did. But go on. But go God on. knows how to show his majesty and his, his grace, mighty his, his forgiveness. Yes. Um, it says, uh, Daniel, uh, we're in what? What was that? Chapter four? I was reading chapter five. Verse 36, right? Mm-hmm. We're continually um, reading the rest of the King Nebuchadnezzar. It says, at the same time that my sanity was restored... My mm-hmm. honor and splendor were returned to me for the glory of my kingdom. Mm-hmm. My advisors and nobles sought me out, and I was restored to my throne and became even greater than before. Mm-hmm. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and exalt and glorify the king of heaven, because everything he does is right, and all his ways are just, and those who walk in pride he is able to humble. Mm-hmm. I thought that was such a beautiful ending of, you know, humility and and a lesson, a tough lesson for all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To model, to learn, to understand, to 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 know that God is mighty over all things, really even the is. proud, even even the people that we think is impossible to be humble. God mm-hmm. can humble the most wicked, ru- wicked of rulers, proud, proud, proud of rulers. Those in leadership, He knows how to deal with us all. So don't don't think you got to put your two cents in. Mm. You just pray. Pray. Mm. We we need to become more of a praying people for one another, right? Yeah. And allow the Lord to do what he only knows how to do. Amen. It says in Isaiah twenty four fourteen, speaking of praise, pray, uh, we gotta praise him. It says here, these Isaiah twenty four fourteen says, These shall lift up their voice. Yeah. They will shout for the majesty of the Lord. Amen. They cry aloud from the sea. Amen. Amen. Is this is this a precursor to our our praise break? Uh, hallelujah. Sure, why not? Hallelujah. <laughs> praise your name on high, Father God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Yes, we we Lord. lift your name hallelujah. up and we just give you thanks hallelujah. for your majesty, thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you for giving us an understanding. Took us out of the ditch. Hallelujah. What it is. Mm-hmm. You what took us out of the is, ditch Father, and made us you, rich. Lord, Hallelujah. Glory you are to God. mighty over all things, mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. Praise you. You have name. all authority. You have uh, oh, sovereign Lord. rule, Father, in the yes, mighty name yes, of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your royalty. Hallelujah. Your your we praise we praise your, your and honor your majesty, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you for your beauty, Lord, yes, in the Lord. earth, Lord. We yes, thank Lord. you right now in the yes, mighty Lord. name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Your name is above every name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that we can reflect your majesty, Father, because you live in us. We can reflect the royalty, Lord, because you live in us. Hallelujah. Majesty, Father, thank you for your majesty. We thank you for showing forth more of your majesty in 2024 lord Lord, things that we've never even seen father those that we haven't even been able to fathom father the depths of your majesty lord hallelujah open up our eyes so we can clearly see father and not miss out father on your majesty this year your majestic and wondrous works father hallelujah thank you daddy Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Name, Thank Father. you, Jesus. Thank Lift you, Jesus. Your name up to the raptors, Father Thank God. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Where will we Thank be without you, you, Father God? Hallelujah. Where will we be Thank without you, Father. you, Father God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We yes, Lord. thank you for your majesty. 
Yes, we Lord. thank you, your majesty. Mm-hmm. Your name is majesty. Mm, nice. Your name is majestic. Glory to God. Glory You're all sovereign, God. Mm. Your majesty mm-hmm. and your mm. wondrous works. Your beauty is in your wondrous works. Your majesty is in every word. Your majesty, we call you majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you for your majesty. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We thank you, King of Kings. Yes, Lord. You're king of kings. King of kings and lord of lords. You're king of all the earth. Your radiance. Hallelujah. The majesty on Your earth. Majesty. Hallelujah. We bow ourselves at your throne. Your majesty. Oh, God, we thank you for your majesty, your majesty, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father. Hebrews 1, verse 3 says... Um, his son is the radiance of his glory. <laughs> his son is the radiance of his glory, of God's glory. His son is the radiance of God's glory, the very image of his substance. Oh, gosh. And upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself made purification for our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high hallelujah amen hallelujah glory to god this is majesty and his radiance that that made my wife just make up that song and sing it you know it was just his his majesty my 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 god gave um my wife the unction to function as a psalmist and she does so she does it so well it just comes out at any given time and i'm in i'm in awe right (laughs) i'm in awe at his majesty through my wife because of the blood of jesus christ you see what happens is that there's so many talented people who don't who are using god's gift the wrong way the they 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 the 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 rappers the singers they're using it to promote uh the filth of Satan without knowing about the glorious majesty of God and so mm. they do what they do and create a mockery of the talents that God gave them. Mm. And so it's it's a beautiful thing, as y'all heard the angelic singing of my wife, because she's been gifted and recognizes God as the person, as the as 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 the entity that gave her the ability to sing the way that she does. That's His Majesty. Amen. Thank you. That's His Majesty, and that mm, look at that. That is the substance. Of God, that is the radiance of His Majesty, His glory. That this, the voice that you hear, the words that you hear us speak, is the substance of His glory. It is the substance of His Majesty. Everything that we do, when we do it in love, 
is God's. It's the substance of God. It's the actual physical, the physical uh, uh, manifestation of the spiritual uh, 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 God that he is. Yes. Amen. And it manifests itself in all the good things that are in all the holy things that we do only because we listen to God who tells us to do it. That's the substance. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we just, you know, we thank God again. Amen. We thank him again. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank him again and again okay. and again. And again, now, again, and now and I again. understand. Now I understand why it says that the um the angelic beings mm -hmm. stand around Jesus Crying in a powerful holy, holy. voice and just singing, wow. praising his name, holy, holy, holy. Wow. You know, because of, uh, they're they're in total awe. Mm -hmm. You know, just just imagine. Wow. <laughs> what more can you do except thank him, right? Amen. Amen. I mean, I mean, the whole point, the reason why we're we even on this radio show is because we foresaw it almost over 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 f five years ago. Mm -hmm. We foresaw it and we wrote the vision down. Yeah. Remember that? Amen. And it happened. Did. That's his majesty. That's what his has majesty. God done for you? Amen. What has God done for you where you can thank him for his majesty? Yes, Lord. What has he done to 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 be to be able to have you so blessed as to do majestic things for other individuals, majestic things for other family members? Or for family members, majestic things for total strangers, uh, people that were in need. Have you helped people out? Have you shown them the love? Have you just given them the love of Christ? Have you spread the gospel to them? Amen. If, if, if you're doing that, that means you understand the majesty of, of the, our Lord on high. Amen. And you do it selfishly, self, selflessly. Mm -hmm. Selflessly. If, and if you're not, just think about where you would be right now if it wasn't for the awesome power of God. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, guess what? It's come to that time. Wow. It's come to that time already. Amen. Where you can feel, where you can sense, where you can get a sense of being of the fullness of God's majesty by coming to him, by, 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 Coming into the fold, coming into the covenant, coming into the majestic house of the Lord Amen. and getting covered by the blood of Jesus. Here's the time. The time is now to get saved. And you can say it after the sound of my voice. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I don't want to sin anymore. And I don't want to sin anymore. I recognize. I recognize. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Sacrificed his life. Sacrificed his life. On the cross. On the cross. For me. For me. For my sins. For my sins. For my iniquities. For my iniquities. For my infirmities. For my infirmities. For my guilt. For my guilt. For my condemnation. For my condemnation. <clears throat> and for my shame. For my shame. And I want him to come into my life right now. And I want him to come into my life right now. To shape me. To shape me. Hold me. Hold me. And mold me. And mold me. Into what you got. Into what you got. Want me to be. Want me to be. And I make a 180 degree turn. And I make a 180 degree turn. Which means I repent. Which means I repent. And I'm now ready to do, God. And I'm now ready to do, God. What you want me to do. What you want me to do. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For having Christ. For having Christ. Come into my life. Come into my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen, amen, amen. Yeah, and if hallelujah. you said that prayer, guess what? Hallelujah. You just got saved. Welcome yes. to the family of God, beloved. Hallelujah. The Bible says that old things have passed. Behold, you are a new creature in Christ, and all things are made new. 
Amen. Yes, Lord. Congratulations. And the angels, a thousand angels are rejoicing. Angels are rejoicing yes, right as Lord. we speak. Yes, a thousand Amen. angels glorify. A thousand angels, angels magnify. We welcome. We welcome, welcome you today. today. If you have questions about what just happened to you, about what salvation means, what being born again means, you can reach out to us at UFL Ministries INTL at gmail.com. You could also reach out to us on the gram, the Love Chapters POD, Mrs. Devil Slayer, and Dwayne the Pastor. Amen. Amen. That's right. And uh listen, let's let's go out. Um, with Job 125 to God our Savior who alone is wise be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore amen 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 all right listen guys we'll see you next week Monday same time amen 7 p.m. Like Eastern time say, only God, God Jesus, Jesus and the Holy Spirit love you more check for now well let's say this again we love you <laughs> and only Forgive God <laughs> Jesus and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit love you more. <laughs> Too long of a vacation, huh? Ciao, Ciao for now. now. That's right. Why? Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. So God, you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. He said God. What? Well, it's that God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to choose. Holy God, hold the strong, be good, 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 and make the place good.